from Americana to Zydeco, and everything in between. This is the Extended Play Sessions. To look complete the sheet can stop the traffic on any old street. A man's woman telling and like she sings. She a man's woman, I do love to be. She don't like how to talk, she never picks, knows how to scratch his favorite itch. A man's woman, right down to her knees. Well, then she a man's woman, I do love In Australia, the blues scene is fairly quiet. I suppose you have to understand that we are a country that has the same land mass as the United States, but only 10% of the population. And blues is not really uh, so much a part of our culture in Australia. Country music and folk music, there's a big scene for those, but the blues scene has a very small but dedicated team of followers. So it's, yeah, it's it's really quite small. So it's it's fantastic to be here in the United States. Uh, it, it's great to see a lot of international up-and-coming blues artists like Anna Popovic and uh, Joanne Shaw Taylor. Uh, I'm big fans of both of those ladies. And it's, it's just wonderful to see people paving the way and showing the rest of us that, yes, you can – build a career internationally and uh, just, yeah, wonderful inspirations. I really love Fiona Boys from Australia. She's been one of those artists, again, who's encouraged me to follow this road and, and just, you know, pioneer and show you that it can be done. <laughs>
appear Like a horse, dab and nail Won't you show me a pocket pair When I say Texas home There's a fool gone on the screen The way that the suit tape Where they just say I play Texas home I play Texas home Well, the first blues song that I ever remember hearing was Born in Chicago by the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. And uh, it just had a huge influence on me at the time. I'd never heard anything quite so raucous, I suppose. And uh, that that's the first blues song that I remember hearing in my life. I, I grew up in a household uh, where there was no music and no interest in music and no value placed on music. So, yeah, I suppose hearing something like that for the first time was a big eye-opener or ear-opener for me. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan in particular was a huge influence on me in my early days of learning the blues and I suppose because he was one of those artists that was easier to access back in the days before we had iTunes. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the Texas blues and I love uh, what Stevie Ray Vaughan did. I've covered a couple of his songs on my albums uh, and, yeah, he, he was probably the biggest one. You kept it well here I never suspected
gets to say now In that cold ground I'm walking I really love artists like Bessie Smith. I just think she was so sassy, you know. Um, I love the outfits as well, all the sequins and, and feathers and, <laughs> and stuff like that. So she she certainly had a big influence on me and, and her subject matter, again, was just about what was going on around her, what was going on in her life at the time, and that's – that's helped me to craft uh, some of my songs along the way. Um, for modern blues, like I'm a huge fan of Jennifer Magnus, actually. I think she's absolutely fantastic and she is actually the reason why I found my way here to the United States uh, in a convoluted way uh, in that her first record label was Blues Leaf Records and I uh, sent some of my material to... Blues Leaf Records a couple of years ago and was very surprised when I got a positive response and was signed up with them a couple of weeks later. So it was uh, that that was a huge moment in my career. But but definitely there's been so many of the American blues singers, yeah, who've who've been a big influence along the way. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got into the bass guitar was I um, I'd, I'd wanted one for years and years and years to get started in music I started playing flute in the school band in elementary school and uh, eventually after a few years started pressuring my parents for a bass guitar because I, I knew in here that that was what I wanted to play and to make academics uh, understand that was you know was next to impossible so my brother had an electric guitar uh, the the old six string uh, that was sitting in the corner disused he'd had a few lessons and and decided to give up and uh, after much pestering my parents said okay you can use this electric guitar that your brother has and if you do well in this instrument and study hard, then maybe we might think about getting you a bass guitar. So I persevered with guitar for a while and it it really wasn't my first choice, but uh, I guess I did well enough to finally on my 14th birthday get a black short scale Samic bass and I just loved it and I've hardly put the instrument down since. Don't buy Avon cream 
a Tupperware. Look at Tanya nose, do you think she care? A man's woman right down to her knees. When she a man's woman, how do you love to be? When she a man's woman, how do you love to be? In my songwriting, I think I want to to look at themes that uh, that I guess that other people don't necessarily go near. So, for example, the song Jailbait on my debut CD, that's about a pedophile. And most people would say, no, not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. Uh, but I, I think it's important to, to, I guess, to talk about these sorts of issues and uh, – I mean, the song Ain't Nobody Watching, for example, that's dealing with, with issues of addiction and, you know, I, uh, that, you know that's, that's not something everybody wants to talk about either. So I, I guess I do explore the dark side a little bit in my songwriting and, uh, yeah, go into the territory that maybe others Will view to tread. Be you been gone? Too long, so I wrote this song so you can hear me. Cause it's been so long since you've been near me. What you want me to do? I was without you. What did I do? Do wrong to cause you to leave me since you've been gone. I've done nothing but grieve. What you want me to do? I'm lost without you. All night, I'm just thinking about you. Oh, darling, no, it ain't right. I can't live without you. What you want me to do? I will lost without you.
cried all night I'm just thinking about you Oh, darling, it no, it ain't right I can't live without you What you want me to do I hope the people who come to see my shows have a fantastic time because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to entertain people and make sure they have a great night out. I always go out into the crowd and, and pay them a visit uh, while I'm playing my bass. And that's, you know, that's what I hope to do is, is just to make sure that everybody's having a really fun evening because I'm always having a great time while I'm up on the stage. I really hope it shows. Uh, I, I think I bring a different perspective to the blues than a lot of the boys do because there's so many male artists out there. It really is a male-dominated genre and I think a, a woman's perspective can be very very different I'm, I'm taking a different apro approach to my songwriting uh, and and to the the things that I choose to write about than I think a lot of the guys do so I guess that's what you'll get from my show <laughs>